Hi, I'm Dr. Tony Mork, endoscopic spine specialist. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about the use of an MRI reader and why it's important. They're a little expensive, so not everybody has one. Uh, certainly anybody who's in the medical field, uh, neurosurgeon, orthopedic surgeon, spine surgeon, radiologist would be using these on a daily basis to interpret the films, but the average person receiving a disc of their MRI scan from an MRI unit would probably not have one of these. So I want to just try to talk a little bit about you know why I use them and why I think that they're helpful and important. Normally when we get films from the MRI unit they come in either sagittal slices which are these which is looking at the spine from the side like this and the slices are going from one side through the middle and to the other side. So the picture that we get of the spine from the side is like this, where these represent the vertebrae. In this sequence, the darker stripes represent the discs. And we can see the white spinal canal with the spinal cord or cauda equina on the inside. As we get down into these areas, we can see a disc bulging here, some overgrowth of the bone here, causing stenosis, and we have the same phenomena. We have a little degenerative spondylolisthesis here, overgrowth of the uh, posterior elements here, causing this narrowing, and then we have it clear up here. So we see the stenosis at these two levels primarily. This is referred to as the axial view, and we can see that we have the vertebral body and the disc. The white <clears throat> is where the spinal cord goes through the spinal canal. These would be the facet joints as would be seen here. And the spinous process here would be the tip of the bone here. So the slices are created like slicing a sausage or a loaf of bread and we can go up and down as I can show you here. So we see a clear spinal canal here. As we go down through, it disappears really completely in this location. Completely lost, it's just very, just a speck here. And then it starts to open back up as we head to another level. As I showed you, as we, as we go through the slices, uh, uh, through the pictures of either the sagittal or the axial slices, the question arises, where are we? on the sagittal slices, which is here, as I go from one side to the other, I don't know if I'm looking at the right or the left. Very difficult to tell. We can certainly see there's stenosis in the middle, particularly here at four or five, but if we go to the sides at all and look at the foraminal canals, are we looking at the right foraminal canals or the left? I'm not sure. Let's take a look at the axials and see what the problem is there. As I go through the axial slices, like slicing a loaf of bread or slicing a sausage, we're really looking at the central canal here where this white circle is. And we can see that it disappears here at this slice and here really disappears. And then it reappears there at there. So we have places where it appears and disappears significantly. But the question is, where is this occurring? What level are we at? When I turn on this particular feature of E-Lite, we can see that this yellow line now goes through the four, five level. And I know that it's gonna show me this exact slice. This slice is gonna be the picture that I can see now on the right-hand screen. So, now when I start to scroll, the line will correspond to the picture over here. So as I go up or down, this spinal canal is clear, as it would be expected to be. But as I get into this area here at 4 or 5, it becomes very stenotic. But I know exactly where the stenotic area is. If I get up to 3 4 here, where I've got a disc protrusion and some overgrowth of the... Uh, elements on the backside, I can see on this 
picture corresponds to this yellow line. And I could see exactly where the problem is occurring and how badly. The same can be done on the other side. For example, at this point the yellow line is now going up and down here. And I can tell if I'm going to the right over here or the left. So if I go to the right or to the left rather, it looks like this. And if I go to the right, it looks like this. So I'm able to correlate always and quickly and easily exactly where I'm looking, what level I'm looking at, and whether I'm right or left. I just thought I'd show you what I think the benefits of an MRI reader and really why I ask people to send me their discs so I can quickly look through them and see what the problem is and where it is, right, left, or central. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, look at me at drtonymark.com or contact me at the office or enjoy some of the other YouTubes. Thank you.